In this uh, demonstration, we're going to look at the RAND between function in Microsoft Excel. We're going to show four different methods of getting this function. In method one, first begin by selecting a cell where you wish to put this function. In this case, we're doing A1. From there, select the function key that is on the toolbar and select more functions. In this case, we are going to search for the function. Because I know it deals with random numbers, I'm going to search for random and select go. That will give me the logical choices for this particular uh, case. Uh, in this case, we are looking for RAND between because we want to speci specify two numbers. We're going to start with the, the bottom half of our record, and in this case, we may have 7,000 samples that we need to randomly choose from. And select OK. So this will give you a random number. This number will change every time you manipulate the spreadsheet. In this case, we're going to go down and select 10 records and that will give us 10 random numbers to choose from. We can extend this and in this case we're going to extend it down to 15 and once again you'll see a whole new set of random numbers. We're now going to go ahead and clear this and move on to method number two. In method two, we're going to select a cell. Once again, go over to our function key, select more functions. In this case, we have a, we're going to look in the all functions. And this will give us a list of all the functions available. We're going to scroll down to the random uh, function because we have an idea what the name is, but maybe not exact. And we'll go ahead and select that. Again, uh, depending on the size of your record set, uh, start, start at the bottom and the top of that record set and choose. This will give you a random number and we are going to extend that down and select uh, 14 random numbers. Moving on to method three. In method three, we're going to go to the top toolbar, select formulas and insert a function. This time, we know the function happens to be in the math and trigonometry uh, category, so we're going to go to that category. That will give us a subset of the functions, and we'll scroll on down to random between. And once again, filling in the appropriate information. And lastly, method four. Method four will select a cell, and this time, because we know how to spell the function, we're just going to type it in. Okay, so we know it's ran between, and the key there will give you uh, examples on how you should fill this in. Request a bottom and a top number. and we'll go ahead and fill 13 items. And that's all there is to uh, doing a RAM between function. Hope you enjoyed it.